yes yes at the waffle making workshop so here we have a couple of toppings with the strawberries and the whipped cream and the chocolate sauce and the eggs and all of that jazz bananas yeah that's for later on though so these are the contraptions the devices which we'll be making the waffles in you'll see more of that later and these are our utensils that we need for the waffle making and these are the ingredients which i will also include below in the description so yes we need 170 grams of self-raising flour but we're making double the amount so a double the, 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 the amount there of the flour some vanilla sugar a pinch of salt um, a little bit of baking powder some, some semi-skimmed milk as you can see pouring in here um, I'll put the exact specific numbers in the description below and of course you need a lot of oil in order to make the waffle you know scrum diddly umptious scrum diddly umptious so yeah once we have all of those ingredients in our bowl guess what time it is it's time to whip it whip it whisk it so we're gonna whisk up some eggs you know these are egg whites you know we have to we have to keep them separate the, the whites and the yolk just to get that perfect consistency of the waffles again i will explain that below in the description um, and then once we actually got our egg whites into a great position we're gonna put that into the bowl and we're gonna whisk it whisk it until the consistency is looking a bit smooth looking a bit consistent um, so there we go that's me whipping it whipping it whipping it um, anyway once the whippage is completed what is next is to bring it over to your waffle making device spray a little oil on the on the on the, on the iron and put about 90% of the solution into the waffle making machine on one side and then again another 90% scoop into the second side and there we go voila allow it to uh, allow it to naturally spread over the iron close the iron spin it around after counting for four to five seconds so it gets a chance to spread and once it spins you leave it for about four minutes now we complete that's the waffle done we're gonna use our tongs to peel it off the iron and then I'm gonna spread it cut it in half so it looks like a normal waffle there because it's two together and then of course this is our voila completed waffle now for the toppings you know a bit of sugar a little bit of sugar for the flavor um, after that what did I choose what did I choose after the sugar not to go too overboard on the sugar obviously it's all about the chocolate sauce to be fair I had about four different waffles so this is just one of four different toppings that I had um, topping combinations but yeah I had the chocolate sauce for the first one um, of course strawberries come on anyone else who has waffles you know you have to have strawberries in your waffles so I was cutting that up nicely not too neatly but just cutting it up because I was hungry I was ready for the waffles um, on top of that I thought to myself you know what that might be enough but I thought you know what let me add one more item let me add one more item a bit of whipped cream yeah it looks a mess I know it looks a mess but trust me it tasted beautiful handmade by myself in Belgium Screw. 